All right, just because we're at Lake Powell doesn't mean we're not working out. So these, every day we're gonna be doing a workout that you could do body weight. So today, we're taking advantage of an EMOM. EMOM stands for every minute on the minute. So we're gonna do a little warm up and then we're gonna hit 10 rounds pretty much, or every minute for 10 minutes, we're gonna be doing a different activity. We're gonna repeat that two to three times depending on how we're feeling. It's about 90 degrees out here. We got a nice little breeze though, so that's gonna be good. All right, first up, we have five shuffles each side. Again, this is an EMOM. Next up, we have 10 Hindu push-ups, and then we rest the remainder of the minute. Then we have lunge jumps, 10 each leg, rest for a minute. Burpee to a little knee touch. We have 10 of these. The plank hand walkovers, 10 each side, and then we're resting. And then we have single leg burpees, which we did five each leg and then rested. Those were rough. These are kick throughs. We have 10 each side. So I'm doing my left leg and then these are froggy squats. We did 20 of these and it's just a deep, deep burn. Such a deep burn. And then to finish off, we did scissor kicks. We did 10 up and down and then these are 10 side to side. Finished up with a little bit of cardio. We did a little circuit training where we did sprints, we did triceps, we did biceps, and then we did some more triceps. All right, first workout of this whole trip in the book. So we're at Lake Powell, situated between Utah and Arizona. It's a triple decker houseboat. So right now we're on the second story. It has a living quarters, has no AC up here because we're not, you know, we're not enclosed. These are just screens. Um, but it has the TV up here, the couches, the table. We have the paddle boards. Courtney and I slept where we worked out today underneath the stars. It was amazing. I still have a sinus infection, but um, hopefully, you know, we just push through it. So the whole purpose of today was every minute on the minute, on the minute, we do a certain number of reps for a certain exercise. So we had nine different exercises. So nine minutes, um, you complete however many reps it calls for, and then you rest the remainder of that minute, and then. When every minute on the minute, we change it up. We do a new exercise for a certain number of a certain number of time, and then again you rest for that time that is remaining in that minute. So um, about 30 to 45 minutes of work. After that, we did some sprints. You guys saw. And the point is, is just to stay active because you know you're not going to always eat well on vacation. You know you're not going to probably count macros, but memories over macros, right? Right. Right. 100%. Also, did you just drop my shaker cup? I'm seriously really sorry. What do you mean you're sorry? Baby. My shaker cup is behind there now. I was trying to it for you and it fell. No shaker cup left behind. <laughs> I'm sorry, babe. Even though it's a bodybuilding.com shaker and bodybuilding.com is on my shiz list right now. It's so perfect it's gone. Should I just leave it there? Leave it. Just make a statement. Bodybuilding.com, what they did is they had all these athletes over the years that did, that did programs like my big man on campus, Modern Physique. Um, it was always partnered with like a supplement company. But what Bodybuilding.com did is decide to take all those programs and start charging for them and not give any of the athletes that created it any kind of money. And it looks bad on me and the other athletes. And then on top of it, I never agreed to it. So Bodybuilding.com may deserve to be code 66 Forget you, bodybuilding.com. Yeah, forget you. I Don't did that. tough talk. Don't, I did that. No. I did that. Don't tough that. talk the shaker, babe. One of the best parts about Lake Powell is the food. And it really starts with Mama Orr. Mama Orr is the MVP. <laughs> we do cooking videos often on this channel, but nothing ever quite like this. Can you tell us what we're having here? Yeah, these are called Esquoquanditos. It's a nice mix of savory, sweet, spicy, and salty treat for your palate. That sounds amazing. <laughs> what would you say is the key in making this? Because it just looks like crackers, pepperonis, and cheese to me. <laughs> well, not at all, Steve. The key you see is in the vibe. It is all in the vibe. It's it must vibe. be paired with smooth jazz music, the music and a family-friendly vibe to watch. <laughs> that sounds good. I can't wait to try them. Steve, he's a natural. Yeah, you're good. <laughs> hey, thumbs up this video for for Taylor's Esquo Conditos. Click the link to subscribe and to get his cookbook. It's called How to Cook with Smooth Jazz Music. One recipe. 
but it's the only recipe you're ever gonna need. Day two here. Today, we're gonna go a little bit heavier with this workout, so we're gonna go out to the beach, find a heavy rock, and just get after it. But first, the one piece of equipment that I did bring, the dumbbell was on the boat, brought a foam roller. Cause foam rolling, if there's one piece of equipment I'm gonna travel with, it's a foam roller. It, the best thing is a foam roller. Like I can't really find a rock and roll on that. I mean, I could if I was that manly, but so foam roller comes everywhere with us. So now that we have our little foam rolling out of the way, we're moving out into nature. Cause one of the best things you can do is actually be part of the place where you're vacationing in. So if you're camping, you wanna work outside, obviously. Um, you know, a lot of times you don't wanna to go to a hotel gym or you don't wanna go, you know, search the nearest gym, get an Uber, take 15, 20 minutes to get there. When you're on vacation, you gotta get it in, you gotta get it in fast, and you wanna do it if you can outside where you can enjoy it. So here, we're on the beach. We're gonna find what we can to work out with which means I think there's some pretty decent sized rocks here. So what we're gonna be doing, um, I'm gonna be doing a little bit of a dynamic warm up now, and then what we're gonna do is a full body circuit. If you're traveling, you don't know how many days necessarily you'll get to work out. Um, so hitting full body is a great way never to skip anything. So I'll do a full body every day I'm out here. We've gathered a medium heavy rock. Well, I guess heavy is all kind of relative. For us, it's a medium heavy rock, and then a really heavy rock. Um, and then we also have two buckets over here of water. That's gonna be pretty much everything that you need. You could use a weight vest, just use whatever you have that's around you. So if it's a stick, a log, you know, a bucket, rocks, anything, chairs. We could do a workout where we use chairs for dips as well, but literally we're gonna train every single shoulders, back, chest, biceps, triceps, quads, and hamstrings. And we're also gonna hit some abs in here as well. Warming up here, slow motion warm ups are always the best. So just doing our everyday dynamic warm up here, butt kickers, high knees, side lateral, making sure we're warmed up because it's only 95 degrees outside. So hey, make sure you warm that body up. Check out the yoga pose here. Something, this is pretty much what we do for a warm up in fitness culture every day. So I wanted to carry it out of here. Come on, Steve, stretch. This is to warm up that central nervous system. Explosive movement like this. Actually, it made it a lot more fun doing it in the sand with the water lapping up. It's kind of nice. Moving on to the workout. First, for quads, we have just a side lateral lunge, working the quads, making sure the knee is over the toe. With straight leg deadlift, you see the booty. I'm trying to push that imaginary door closed behind me. This rock only weighs 500 pounds, so trying to keep that back straight, not rounded. Um, next up, chest, explosive plyo push-up. So this one is just, again, you can't really tire out your chest, um, you know, that easily unless you have a bench press, so we do push-ups. And then straight into our back movement, just a bent over row, straight into an overhead rock press. Again, this rock is 500 pounds. Just kidding, it wasn't that much, but you definitely don't want to drop it on your head. It was very heavy. Uh, medium rock here, we got our bicep curls. Everything we did was right around 15 to 20 reps, I would say. Uh, the stuff for the legs was probably 10, 10 reps each leg. Um, triceps here, we did, I think, right around 15 reps. That rock was probably around 50 pounds. Next up, we have the Russian twist with the rock. Rush, yeah, rock. Dwayne Johnson, I'm doing Russian twist with you. We just are doing some obliques and then crunches. Next up, just a variation. If you don't have a rock, you're at the beach, fill up a bucket, do some pistol squats, make it easier or harder by going into the water or at a decline. Um, these I call archuletas, hamstring curl here pretty much. You wanna make sure you fight on the way down, fight, 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 and keep that butt tight. We don't want that back to bend. Another uh, plyo push up for you guys, just a variation. Get a nice chest pump here. Always better to get a pump outside, you feel me? Um, little rear delt trap action going on here. This is just for back exercise here, more of a, a bat wing row like we do with dumbbells. Side lateral raise here for shoulders. Um, kind of fun, because if you do them wrong, the water spills out and you know you're doing them wrong. Next up, we got skull crushers. Literally, these are skull crushers because that rock will crush your skull if it slips. Um, we're doing that with a close grip bench press here. 
Just all tricep work, all tricep work. Burn it out. Got 20 reps there. This last one, you know, it wasn't as good as I had hoped it to be. Still got a decent little bicep pump. The rock wasn't as heavy as I wanted, so I don't know if you're counting, but I actually do over a thousand. That's pretty much our workout. Four rounds, and again, you can find a variation or not. Tomorrow, what I'll do is I'll try to do a whole new variation for things. Out here with rocks, buckets, there's only so many different things we can do. I might try to find a place off the houseboat to do pull-ups and knee-ups, but just getting something done when you're traveling sometimes is the best thing you can do. A lot of times when you're traveling, it's so easy to, you know, I don't, I'm not in my normal routine. I'm not in my normal gym. So what do you do? You take a day off, it turns into a week off, that coupled with bad, a poor diet, and you just come back and shamble. So just by doing something, mentally you're staying in it. You're still staying with your habits because each day you're working out, when you get back, it's still part of your everyday routine, that workout. And that's what we're trying to do here, create good habits. So even though it might not be what you're used to doing, sometimes doing these awkward stuff, they provide new forms of enjoyment, kind of, you know, shock your forearms or hands in a different way. And again, you feel great after doing it. So you're gonna enjoy your vacation so much more because you're not stressed out, you haven't been working out. Getting something done makes you so much better mentally to enjoy that rest of the vacation. So hope this inspires you on your next camping trip or vacation just to do something. Finding a, you know, a, a bed in your hotel room, doing lunges, push-ups, anything you can. I've worked out just about anywhere and everywhere. So that's it for right now. I'm gonna go cool off.